Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This time we are back in Bangkok and we're getting fit with Muay Thai. So, after the failed attempt of cycling across Thailand, which was an epic fail, let's face it, <laughs> I decided to bounce back the only way I know how, which is to get straight back into another furnace after getting out of that oven. <laughs> And that is by doing a full week of Muay Thai training with the pros here in Bangkok, Thailand. This is Superbon training camp in the north outskirts of Bangkok and it is fantastic. I'm here to just lose a bit of weight, keep that cardio going and keep my motivation levels high because when I did fail my bike tour, I spent about, not joking, I spent about four or five days feeling really miserable, really sorry for myself, a little bit depressed and a bit lost. And I remembered that my buddy, Superbon, a guy who I'd met on my tour of Thailand in the province of Pang Na, where I did some Muay Thai, we went on a two day fishing trip together in the Silliman Islands and we bonded. And I had no idea at the time that he was a world champion Muay Thai and kickboxer and here he is, nine months ago, he opened this gym in Bangkok. He trains here every day with other professionals, other world champions, and people just like me who are rubbish, but just want to lose weight, have fun, learn a new skill, and get discipline and motivation back in their life. I'll give you a tour of the gym. I'll introduce you to Superbon, some of the other trainers, and I'll just show you sort of a, a day in the life of me being here, because it's incredible and it's really fun. And I know a lot of people who are watching this are probably on the fence or interested in doing Muay Thai, doing a training camp. You don't have to be doing this to knock somebody out and get in the ring. You can just do it for fun and cardio. So I'll give you the whole broad perspective and my full experience here of training Muay Thai for a week. Enjoy. Okay, we're here. I like to get here a little bit early in the mornings just to get a little bit of extra stretching in and um, I thought I'd show you around before everybody turns up. So if you're wondering which part of Bangkok this is in, this is in northern Bangkok, not too far away from a very popular area called Lad Prao. And this is the main gym itself. It's very typical for Muay Thai gyms in Thailand to be like this. You won't find many gyms with aircon. They'll have these kind of half put down walls to let the air flow in and you will sweat <laughs> you will sweat and that's a good thing especially for me I'm doing Muay Thai for weight loss and to bounce back and to remain active but um, as you'll see the people who are training here some of them are doing it for very serious reasons they're training for a fight they're training for a world championship bout and some other people, like me, just want to move around and learn a new skill. So over here we've got all the pads and extra gloves. I must say that the quality is really good. These are all just, you know, you can grab whatever glove you want, any style that you need. And they have a very variation of sizes, as you can imagine. As you can see, quite a few people turn up early, early, early. They'll do a run around. There's a nice little three kilometer loop. Do some cardio, do some skipping, then do some stretching all before the two hour group class. In there and here you have showers, toilets, because like I like to do, after the morning session, have a shower, get changed and do some work during the day and then stay local and come back again at four o'clock. And in about 20 minutes, the group class will start. Morning sessions are a lot more chilled out. You typically get about six or seven people at the most. Most people obviously work. It's only the pros, the fighters, and a few others who join uh, the classes. Typically, by the way, the group classes are just for the people like me, just for amateurs, just for hobbyists, just for people who want to work out. But the fighters and the pros, they train all day, every day, with private one-on-one -on -one sessions, with trainers, strength and conditioning, uh, technical trainers, and obviously sparring. As uh, trainer Gay, is doing a one-on-one -on -one session behind me this morning. I just thought I would go into a little bit more detail a little bit why I decided to do Muay Thai 
for a week because it's more than just fitness actually um after the failed bike trip it was a real setback for me i've never actually in my life had a massive failure really i mean little failures here and there i'm only human obviously but for me to set out tell everyone share it with everyone this idea of buying a bicycle spending over a thousand dollars on the bike and the gear doing training for a few weeks at least i know that's not much but you know i was getting my fitness up to a certain level oh he can hit it hard bang it was a real kick in the balls <laughs> for me my motivation my self-belief and uh yeah like i said at the beginning of the video i was a bit miserable and I was like mulling around the house and I was just like questioning myself, like what am I doing? Like, you know, just like anyone sets themselves a goal, if you fail on that goal, it does feel like a failure because in life, we kind of put things in two boxes, success or failure. But I'm learning through age, through therapy, such as Muay Thai, that Muay Thai is my therapy at the minute, that there is success and then there is learning or experience on the path to a future success it's a good way to wrap it up it's better than saying i failed you can say i learned you either win or you learn <laughs> another reason why i chose muay thai is obviously we're filming a series on this channel called the ultimate bucket list here in thailand and i'm ticking off incredible adventures and things that i've always wanted to learn experience and deep dive into and we've done muay thai a little bit on this channel before but i know that it's so deeply ingrained with core principles like discipline, consistency, and getting back on your feet, that I just thought it was gonna be a really good place to go and to be around people that constantly have failure or learning, right? When they get beaten up, when they lose a fight, or just people looking to improve themselves. Being around that energy is incredible and really, really powerful, and that's why I decided to do Muay Thai for a week at least I mean look it's not very close to my house and I do it's quite a big commitment to come here every day but I'll do it for at least a week and consider going forward maybe coming here two or three times a week especially in the afternoons especially on the weekends when there's a bit more people here on a Saturday so that's why I thought overcoming my failure by doing Muay Thai was the perfect place the perfect thing to do to bounce back and I just want to mention if anyone anyone watching this if you're a man or a woman if you're going through something big or small, if you're just a little bit miserable, if you're in the height of depression, if you're just a little bit meh, whatever it might be, I really encourage you to try something new, push yourself, get out of your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be a week of Muay Thai in Bangkok, okay? It could be anything. Go for a walk, go for a run, get back in the gym, start doing something new, learn a new skill. Well, it could be online. It doesn't have to be crazy physical, but I'm telling you, this has been the best way for me to get out of my little rut. And uh, I've got nothing but praise for Muay Thai, for the culture of Muay Thai that it instills in everyone who in gets involved in it. And uh, yeah, these guys here at the Superbond training camp have been really welcoming and really kind and really helped me snap out of it. There's a few people starting to turn up now. So I just want to talk about something quite important and that is the paid partner in this video today and that's better help because not everybody like me can just take a week off work and go and do Muay Thai twice a day and treat that as their therapy and their immediate way of bouncing back. There are alternatives out there and better help is certainly a really good alternative to help you get through whatever it might be that you're going through right now. I think the word therapy is a bit of a difficult word to talk about because especially where I come in my culture in the UK, men typically, we find it very difficult to share what we're going through. Some of us have loved ones that we are very open with, but some of us don't have many people in our lives and we keep things to ourselves and things build up. But with better help, you can interact with a professional qualified therapist who is trained to listen, to give you help 
and to give you unbiased advice. The first thing you do is you can use the link in my description, betterhelp.com forward slash Paddy Doyle, and you just answer a few quick questions to help them understand you better and which therapist that they should recommend you to. And then they can use that information to find you the best possible therapist, maybe someone who's gone through what you've gone through. After you've answered those questions, usually you'll get matched to the perfect therapist within 48 hours. So the whole turnaround is really quick and convenient. I think the best thing about BetterHelp is that you can do it in any way that you want. If you want to sit at your computer in the privacy of your own home with your headphones on, you can have a like a Zoom meeting basically with a therapist, that's fine. Or you can just talk to them on the phone or you can just do text messages and just talk to them in that way. You know, it's really flexible because some people find it awkward and scary to talk to a therapist in the first place. Yeah, you can even just text them or give them a call whenever you've got the time or you feel like you need a little bit of help. So if you are struggling and you do need a little bit of help and you need a little bit of therapy to get through something, consider better help. Talk to someone. It's really going to impact you and help you. And if you use the link betterhelp.com forward slash Paddy Doyle, it's right below this video, and you'll get a special discount on your first month of using the service. Thank you to BetterHelp for this paid partnership segment of the video. And I really hope some of you are clicking that link as we speak and going to sort out whatever it is that you need help with. And with that, it was time for the morning session. Group sessions run twice a day from eight till 10 in the morning, and then again at four till six in the afternoons. Of course, the fighters, the professionals, and anyone who wants one-on-one -on -one lessons can do so anytime during the day. Each session begins with a little bit of stretching and a bit of cardio like running or skipping. Then it's time for shadow boxing and hitting the bags, a little bit of pad work, and then at the end, a bit of light sparring. The group sessions are very tough and they go on for two hours, so you'll be sweating buckets. But they're so much fun and the trainers do a great job at creating fun games and introducing everyone, so you do get to make quite a lot of friends as you do this. The trainers are amazing. They'll go around, they'll make sure that they're correcting you and helping you. And remember that some of these trainers are the most incredible coaches in the country. They'll go from training someone like Superbon to then helping you with your jab. It really is kind of incredible. And the fact that you get to train alongside these professionals, it really does boost your confidence, your determination, and for me, motivation. All right, morning session is done. Morning sessions are really, really chilled in comparison to the afternoon session. I think it's because there was only 10 or so people. It's the morning, it's a bit more chilled but you still sweat buckets, you still learn. The trainers are so great, and it's nice to see a varied group of people. You know, you've got a bloke from Turkey, you've got three people from Korea who are doctors, who took a week off work, a week from the hospital, came out here and they're doing Muay Thai every day. And every day I've come here, it's different people. Some of them are just locals. Teachers, for example, who come in the afternoons after work, or on the weekends and backpackers, people who've just come here and want to do it for a day. And then you've got people who are here doing it every day for months, building up to a fight, building up to experience in the ring. All levels training here at Superbond Training Camp. Since I live around 45 minutes away from the gym, I didn't really bother to go home between the sessions. And since this area of Bangkok, like any area of Bangkok. It has lots of food and cafes. So each day between the sessions, I would get changed, have a shower, and then go out, find some local food, and find a spot to do a little bit of work from. One of the best things about having a training camp in Thailand is you're never far away from delicious food. In fact, when I first turned up, Superbon was kind enough to drive me around this neighborhood on his motorbike to show me all of the local little spots, best place to get pack a pow, best place to get noodles. And there's about three or four little coffee shops, one in particular that I'll take you to in a minute, because that's where I use this area as a base, because it's too far for me to come here twice a day. So I come in the mornings, I do the morning session, I have some food, I chill out, I do some work in the cafe, and then I stay in this area and walk back to the gym, five minute walk away, do the second session relax, go home, and that's my routine. And I've got to say, I've never been more productive 
and I've really snapped out of that mini little depression I, I was in. And this pork noodle soup is delicious. I come here every day. There is a lot of delicious food on this street, but this is the one I prefer the most. And with my work done, it's time to head back to the gym and join up with the afternoon crowd. Guess who came to train with me today? Yeah, what did, get, what did you get me into? <laughs> afternoon sessions run the same as before. Same kind of format, same stretching, different games, but pad work, bag work, a little bit of sparring. And again, it's two hours and you'll sweat absolute buckets. I also have to say that I really enjoyed the fact that the gym had a dedicated staff member who works on social media side of things and she would go around and take pictures and videos of everyone and then tag you later on Instagram after the session. This is great because it means that you can obviously just concentrate on the class, concentrate on your fitness or whatever it is that you're working on, but afterwards you'll check online and you'll see that there's photos and there's videos and you're tagged in them and you can share them online or keep them as a souvenir, whatever you need. And it's just a good way to network and it's a good way to get the pictures and the videos as memories to share later. This is my favorite part of every workout. The group games, the group stretching. That's not bad, is it? A little kid. Muay Thai, first session, and he's got Super Bond giving him instructions, helping him get with his technique. That's something you can tell your friends at school. Okay, and that concludes this afternoon session and my video to share with you the experience of a Muay Thai training camp. And I'll leave the information for this gym in the description. It's mainly via Instagram, that's how they do their marketing, that's how you're able to book, contact them and let them know what you're looking for. If it's just a, a two hour session on your holiday to Thailand, something to do in Bangkok, or if you want to go somewhere in the middle between being just a few training sessions or going into a camp, maybe you want to get really fit, maybe you want to have a fight, contact them let them know how many sessions you want, who you want to train with, how you want to train and just come and enjoy it, learn a new skill, have fun and I don't know, bounce back from whatever it is that you need to in life. I've shared my story today, I've got a couple more days working out here and then I'm off to the next uh, shoot, the next adventure which will actually be ticking off something on my girlfriend's bucket list which will be revealed in the next video I think. Anyway, love you long time, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, leave a comment below about whatever, it helps the algorithm. <laughs> Alright, cheers, bye.